Hi gorgeous people, this is going to be a collective reading and wow, the energy in this reading is amazing. <laughs> but before I dive into this, um, my name is Joy, if you are new here. Um, I am a spiritual advisor and tarot reader. If you would like to follow me on any of my other social media platforms or book a personal reading with me, everything is going to be linked down below in the description box. Alright? But... Let's get into this because this is amazing and I'm just so excited to give this message out because I'm just so proud of the collective right now. The collective that I've been picking up is has been doing the fucking work. You guys have been really, really, really trying to switch yourselves up, right? I think you guys are really allowing that old version of you to die. You guys are realizing and listening to your soul. You are listening to whatever source has been trying to pull you into, trying to get you out of these, <clears throat> these bondages that you had with other people or in your career or just you were bound to all these like negative thoughts. Like you guys feel like you are, you guys are just coming out of that and it's just, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I'm going to just dive into some Oracle first and just show you what I have pulled for you. So the first card that came out is magic uh the purple right so i really resonate with colors um and how they relate to the chakras okay so with this purple being the first card that comes out your third eye and your crown chakra has activated okay you guys have tapped into this inner knowing of self where you guys realize you don't need to reach out to anything outside of you because you already have everything within you to manifest. You already have all the resources. Um, you don't need to look outside of you and feel like you don't have the power already. Um, you are realizing you are a co-creator and you are meant to to be here to create. That is how you honor God. That is how you honor the divine by doing what you are meant to do here, which is creating, manifesting, okay? Um, you know, being stuck in this kind of like matrix energy, you feel like you have to do everything that everyone else is doing and then you start becoming super unhappy with your life because you're not doing what your purpose is. You're not manifesting, you're not um, operating in this like childlike energy that just wants to have a huge imagination, that just wants to create, that just wants to have fun. You guys are now tapped into this energy though. I feel like you guys are now, or at least you guys are diving into this energy because you're like, oh, bing, there's like a light bulb that went off and you're like, oh, okay. I have all this within me, I already am it right i'm already connected and i don't need to like have to work so much for it i just have to be it right so instead of like thinking so much about things you guys are just being it right so the main energy for you guys though is this death card but this is amazing death is transformation this is releasing of old patterns this is releasing of ego okay and for a lot of you Things might be uncomfortable at this time, but truly all the growth always does happen outside of your comfort zone, okay? So because you guys understand the magic that you do have within you, um, fear had to be released because fear is what was holding you back from what is destined for you, all right? And so this could also be a lot of endings with um, relationships or careers, which I am going to hop into that with tarot, all right? But... Your guys' future energy is confidence. Confidence, okay? So now that you guys are allowing this old version of yourself to die who maybe did not believe in themselves, who did not operate in a frequency of love, y'all are not going to be doing that anymore. You guys are, are walking into a place of independence. Um, understanding your worth, how valuable you are, how amazing, and how you deserve love, okay? Um, and that you are worthy of everything that you want in this lifetime, 
okay? So I love this energy for the collective and you guys have just been doing such an amazing job, but let's go ahead and get into tarot. Um, we'll get more details about this message. So with magic being the first one out, I got the star card as your guys' first tarot card. So some of you guys could be have a lot of Aquarius placements, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Um, <laughs> this is a balance energy not only a balanced energy but this is also you guys being inspired again to be able to do something different you guys maybe once you had this energy where you were not inspired by life you felt like everything was just falling very flat and that's because you were doing the mundane things the things that you felt like you had to do in order to survive in this physical realm Mm -mm. you guys are re-inspired again you guys are are like literally um like I said earlier it feels like tapping into this more childlike energy or opening up your imagination um and you guys could be inspiring others at this time but this is healing too okay you guys have learned how to heal yourselves and not only take care of your spirituality like your your soul body but this is also your physical body okay that's why in this card, she's not just pouring into um, water, but she's also pouring into earth. So she's she knows how to balance out the physical and the spiritual, okay? Um, you guys have also been putting yourselves in this energy where it's like a celebration of life. Because there's been this rejuvenation, because you guys are re-inspired, you guys are now walking into this energy where it feels like very fun, okay? It just feels very free. Um, everything is working out for you at this time. The life that you are stepping into was destined for you. This is all about your fortune, okay? Um, this is good luck. This, these are things moving very, very, very fast for you. With the Knight of Swords being the next card coming out, this is just telling me that things are about to rush in so quick for you. All of this, the happiness, the celebration, um, you guys stepping into your soul purpose, it's happening fast. Faster than you ever thought it could. Okay? Faster than you ever thought it could. Because when you start being who you want to be, things will shift drastically. Things will fall apart drastically. And that's what's happening right now. Okay? That is what's happening. And, and I don't want you to get scared with the whole falling apart because things must die. Things must fall apart before they can be rebuilt, especially if you're calling in a new life for yourself. Because that old version, everything that was old that doesn't resonate with that new version of yourself, it must die. Okay? So things are happening very quickly for you at this time. So get ready if you feel like i do feel like you already feel this shift okay but for those who are still kind of going through like the major major transformation you're good things are happening for you very quickly now that you guys have tapped into this inner knowing of self though um you guys are realizing the things that you once were fulfilled in the things that you thought were um going to be like your wish fulfillment that you thought was going to make you whole and complete because you guys have done so much introspection and soul searching you guys are now realizing that they do not fulfill you anymore these could be relationships i'm heavily picking up on relationships so this could be um platonic or even romantic relationships that you felt like um, you and I just don't get along anymore or you and I just don't I don't resonate with you anymore Maybe like social settings that you just don't want to dive into anymore because you feel like It's not for your highest good or for your highest purpose, right? So there has been an ending in friendships and in relationships in life, too Okay, because they just they just don't fulfill you they you know that they don't um, You know that they can't be in your life anymore because this new version of yourself 
you have a higher standard, you have more of a value for yourself. So you know that you need to match up that energy, right? You want to be around people who are going to understand where you are at on a spiritual level. This is being, um, this is people you want on a spiritual level. This is the kind of relationships that you guys um, desire at this time, okay? You want people who are going to uplift you, who are going to understand the transformations that you're going through, who are, are going to understand you um, when you guys talked about maybe like some crazy obscure things regarding like, you know, you getting a download from the divine or however it might be for you okay but i do heavily feel like the things that once satisfied you are are going to be put to an end okay and with that being said these are things that are going to shock a lot of people these are big changes you have really ended a lot of things and it's like shooken up a lot of other people's life and maybe the way that they view you all right a lot of these people didn't think that you were going to cut cut them off okay this could be jobs too like a lot of these individuals maybe these co-workers didn't think that you were going to leave they didn't think that you would transform in this kind of way so you are actually you, you guys are surprising a lot of other individuals at this time because you have learned to let go and release of what no longer serves you. A lot of these people might think that you're batshit crazy for just going off of whim and just being like, well, this is what I feel. I, I don't, I want to like, I want to follow my heart and maybe being in this relationship or being in this career is just not fulfilling me anymore. And these are things that I feel like you guys were very um, dedicated to for a very long time. But because there has been a death of the old version of you, you no longer desire these people or this career anymore, okay? So take that how it resonates for you, but there's relationships and career in this reading, okay? Because you guys have learned how to put an ending to these things that no longer fulfill you, this page of pentacles is coming out as you. This, you guys are diving into something brand new, okay? And that's where that spark of inspiration was coming from too, that star card being the first one out. Because you guys are inspired to follow your heart, you guys are diving into a new career that was actually meant for you. Like I said, these these changes, these shifts, this Knight of Swords energy, this is like clear understanding. This is, okay, I know what to do. Let's go for it. This is your sole purpose. This is something that you were destined for with this Wheel of Fortune being here, okay? This is something you were supposed to do. And so now you guys are tapping into this new career this new knowing of self, right? And it's going to be extremely successful. Some of you guys might be in this like early studying kind of phase too. So maybe you guys have like hopped into a new career that you might have to just like dive even deeper, like just study a little bit more. It's just something completely brand new for yourself, okay? Especially because this is a page. Um, so it's just basically telling me that um, you know, page energy is like young energy. So if you are hopping into a, a career, this is something that you've just never dived into before. Okay. So this is a new career. This is a new start that you are going to be extremely successful in. Um, this is going to work out in your favor. All right. You're going to get a lot of recognition for tapping into this new career as well. And because of that, this king of fucking wands, some of you guys might be um, business owners, right? But this is like leadership role. So I really do feel like for the collective that I'm picking up, a lot of you guys want to um, be your own boss, right? A lot of you guys want to be that leader in other people's lives. Some of you guys could be very inspirational uh, speakers. Um, you guys could even be tarot readers. However, this resonates for you, okay? But this is a huge leadership role. So a lot of you guys know that this new career path, you guys are meant to be the one that's on the top. You don't want to be the one that's on the bottom anymore taking, you know, whatever else other people want you to do. Like, you just know that didn't fulfill you. You knew that you had a higher calling, right? And so that's why um, 
because you guys are tapping into what you guys are actually supposed to be doing, that's why it's going to be so success successful for you. Excuse me. Let me slow down my speech here because I'm just getting really excited about this reading. But a lot of you guys are meant to be leaders. A lot of you guys are meant to own your own businesses, okay? Um, and if you don't feel like maybe that's something that resonates with you, this is just more so learning about the passion that you have for something else, something brand new, okay? Some of you guys thought that this passion that you had was not meant for you. That you thought it was very far-fetched. Something that you just couldn't, you know, see yourself, like it was just too much hard work, right? You have learned how to release those limiting thoughts, okay? With this devil in reverse, um, you learned how to release those thoughts that were telling you that you weren't, um, you didn't have enough within you to do it, um, right? You were too um, stuck in your old patterns to be able to get into this new version of yourself. These are just like parts of yourself that you're like, okay, I've learned how to release these things of me speaking to myself incorrectly or me thinking that I can't, you know, um, obtain this new lifestyle for myself. But you guys have definitely released that. And because of this, you guys are stepping into this leadership role and independence a lot of you guys have wanted to be very independent you guys have wanted to even with this like with the ones that have released relationships this is you guys you know loving and honoring yourselves as a single individual um you guys wanted to be your own breadwinner you guys wanted to um just be fine on your own, you know, like not feel like you have to depend on another individual to make you feel validated, to make you feel beautiful, right? Um, you guys are just completely tapping into this whole new beautiful energy for yourselves. And because of you guys were able to put an end to a lot of different cycles, things are about to shift and are already shifting very fast for you. So that's why I just want to let you guys know you guys are on the right path. And, you know, with this Nine of Pentacles being the last card out too, it heavily, heavily, heavily resonates with this confidence card because Nine of Pentacles is a very confident woman, okay? This bitch on her own, so happy that she has built this lifestyle for herself. This is almost a lifestyle of completion, okay? We got the Ten of Pentacles after this Nine. Because of that, Ten of Pentacles is basically saying, okay, I already got everything. I have obtained everything I desire. But this Nine of Pentacles is like, damn, I have built all of this on my own. All right? So you guys are slowly integrating and, and putting yourselves in a position where you guys are going to be so happy and content with your lives. Um, and it's because you have learned how to end a lot of old cycles that weren't working for you anymore. Um, and for those relationships, they are shocking a lot of other people um, that you ended these these things with because it's just like they just didn't think that you would they didn't think that you would shift your energy so quickly. This feels so fast. That's why like this Knight of Swords energy is just like it's speaking to me so heavily because it's just so clear. Everything just became so crystal clear for you on what it is that you desire the moment that you actually understood who you are, you know, here as a co-creator and you're just like, okay, maybe I'm not happy doing this. Maybe I have been selling myself short. You get what I'm saying? And this is beautiful energy because now you're able to actually be fulfilled you're ab able to actually um not only turn your life around but you are going to inspire others to turn their life around as well the last card is magician well this is n the last card was nine of pentacles but this was at the bottom of my deck this magician so going back to the first card that came out for you guys when it comes to oracles magic 
This magician energy just knows how to create, knows how to manifest. He's got the cups, he's got the swords, he's got the pentacles, all right? He's got the wands. So this is like, okay, I've got the energy to move fast. I have the clear understanding. I have my emotional fulfillment here. And then now I'm learning how to master the physical realm, which is like the finances, okay? This is you right now. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. So congratulations. This is such good energy for my collective that resonates with this. You guys are just doing great. And I think you guys just need to continue on this path and listen to yourself when you are not feeling fulfilled in something. When you don't, you're like, okay, this doesn't resonate with me anymore. Put an end to it. Okay. So what this death card is just basically saying like, hey, things must die in order for you to rebuild yourself, in order for things to manifest the way that you want them to. You have to allow that old version of yourself to not exist anymore because you're stepping into a new version of yourself who is very um, ambitious, courageous, very loving, honors themselves, okay? Very independent, very secure and stable, all right? So... Now, Spirit wants me to just tell you intuitively, because you guys are wanting to hop into something new, this new career that you know is going to be successful, that you know this is your leadership role, you know you're supposed to be doing this, right? Now it's time to plan. Now it's time to take the steps to just plan things out for you. Start scripting, okay? Um, because you already got the energy really good right now. Now it's just more so about being practical, with your dreams okay so just start planning things out start um asking yourself you know what does this version of myself that i'm trying to really hop into do every day right um in that way things will happen even quicker for you okay so you guys are looking at the world so much more bigger than you used to and now you guys are seeing that you can obtain whatever it is that you desire so continue to have um, this beautiful view of knowing one of yourself, but just two that the world is already in your hands. 